good afternoon dear students yesterday we have studied about statutory corporation and its features today i am going to discuss with you all merits and demerits of statutory corporation before studying that i will discuss with you all once again meaning of statutory corporation so students statutory corporations are such public sector enterprises which are formed by passing a special act in the parliament for example reserve bank of india life insurance corporation of india air india all these are examples of statutory corporation now i will discuss with you all merits of statutory corporations so students first merit is statutory corporations enjoy high degree of flexibility in its operation because these are free from undesirable government control and regulations next is statutory corporations are independently financed that's why there is no interference of the government in the financial matter next is statutory corporations are autonomous organizations autonomous organizations are such organizations which are free from undesirable control so these are autonomous free organization that's why they can frame their own policies and procedures next is statutory corporation are valuable instrument for economic development of the country because these corporations are having power of the government as well as initiative from the private sector in this way they it results in economic development of the country so student these are the merits of statutory corporations now i will discuss with you demerits of statutory corporation students in the merits i discuss with you all that there is high degree of flexibility in the operation but in reality statutory corporations does not enjoy much operational flexibility all actions subject to many rules and regulations in most of the activities government interfere and there are number of rules and regulations framed by the government for statutory corporations second demerit is there is government and political interference in the important decisions as well as when such decision is taken where large amount of funds are involved then government interferes next is sometimes statutory corporations indulge in anti social activities like charging high price from the customers why to cover up their inefficiencies next is the constitution of statutory corporation is rigid fixed and objects and powers are defined by the act if any of the corporation want to make changes in the object and powers defined by the act then it is a time consuming and difficult process next is statutory corporations do not face competition and their main motive is not to earn profit because of these two things lack of competition and objective is not to earn high profit sometimes their functioning results in inefficiency last demerit of statutory corporation is members of board of directors of statutory corporations are appointed by the government and mostly these are politicians and politicians lack professional education and training which is must for managing a business so in this way these are the demerits of statutory corporations i hope the topic is clear to all even then if you have any doubt in the merits and demerits discuss with me right now okay students thank you